That's what she said. Of a ride type of symbol, but it's pretty bike. Hey, Megatod. Hey, Megatod. They close at nine. What time is it? Oh. Hey Kim, Megatod, oh, U812, Six Finger to Salt. Let What's me show up, you guys dudes? the most difficult percussion instrument to play in the world. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. Well, this isn't one of those. These are one of those that you go whoa, 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 into. Ew. I didn't stick my mouth on it. I had my hand. <laughs> gross. Even that's gross. Aw, oh, that guy doesn't look too happy. Let's see. What time is it, though, without... Do you know what time... Or in the chat, what time is it? Did you guys ever see... Um... Okay, we're, we're good for a little bit. Oh, yeah. 
We're good for Boom. real. Boom. Octopus series, we're back. Let's see, that delay was the one I wanted, yeah. We're good for a few minutes. On the battery, but didn't work, so I just moved on. I'll show you guys some cool stuff. Look at that, you got the new Kramer Strikers. Right there. I'll show you what I was looking at. I was looking at this right here. Evish Wolfgang Silver Sparkle. I actually already filmed a, a, a video with it. Posting that on Wednesday or Wolfgang Wednesday. And they also have uh, one of the, uh, the special, the one that I saw the other day. Up here. They got one of those. That's the one the guy called it Pumpkin. And then they also have a couple of those Kramers. Well, they got a few Kramers. They got the, the Beretta. They got that one right there. And I got to talk over this music. They also have this one here, which we all know. This one's actually kind of heavy. And then they have one of the lighter ones over here. That one. We love those. Those are awesome. And then, oh, there's Laz. He's in there. Let's see. What'd you find? White belt. Oh. You got these Duesenbergs with these funky pickups. Yeah. And look at that. That's craziness. And a Daphne Blue Music Man Cutlass. Man. HP2. It's funny, when I saw one of these Sabres, I thought it said Surge. <laughs> it almost looks like that. And I'm like going up closer. Wait a minute, Saber. Okay. Oh man, <laughs> well, look at this. Ryan. Dude. Yeah, that's yeah. a standard. That was a standard Wolfgang. Used ninety-eight. I played that one. I was here when they first put that one on the floor. And if you go back in my video, I'm actually telling the employee about the guitar. Wow, that's. I'm nice. explaining to him what it is, and how twenty-one ninety-nine ninety-nine is, I think, too much. Twenty-one ninety-nine for that. Well, the thing is, is those decals, those can be take, those can be taken off. The, somebody installed a kill switch there. Oh wow! Okay, okay. Right there, which and it's it's. Have uh, the, up here before? It's kind of funky. What was there? Nothing. Here there was nothing before? there. That was installed. Then, somebody installed that. But the freeway switch was. Yes, those that they they moved that down to there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, Janice. Oh, look at this. 1960 heavy tangerine burst. Robbie Stingo, Stingo Zach Thong, Robbie. Robbie Clayton, Stingo. Clayton James Hicks. Excuse me, that was a hiccup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I played I played this guitar. I've I've actually filmed this guitar like twice. And yeah, that's that's a bit too much, I think. So this is a Murphy lab. These are both Murphy. I mean, it looks lab. nice. But it's an access, so it's not an actual Eddie Van Halen. So it, it doesn't feel like one. I tell you guys all the time, the access guitars do not feel like the original Edward guitars. They they really do feel different. But look at this. What do you, what do you think of this thing, though? Yeah. They do that aging where they freeze like dry it they just shoot it with like, freezer can stuff and it would... mm -hmm. there's your cab man yeah right you need to get that yeah, i don't have no room for that dude that's why i have a two bike because i don't have space for that you've seen that room <laughs> do i have space for that John? no <laughs> but i do have some more space for some more heads and maybe some more two bikes i do have that four by in the closet i have to put the speakers in it I gotta wire it up and all that. I gotta do that in the springtime. It's too cold out there. I'm gonna do that outside. It's weird that it's weird how they have a little ladder in here. Yeah, they must have unlocked. They don't really need it. 
They must have taken something off up there. Oh, I guess for the key. Oh, look at the to, un to unlock. This is a signed. Oh, what does that say? Is that, sir? That's sir. That can't be a real signature, can it? I don't know. Uh, it says Smoke 59 Hollow Body Signature Brian Setzer, Nashville. There we go. Nashville. Okay. Speaking of Nashville, Speaking I'll be in Nashville in a week. You lucky dog. I'll be uh, live from Nashville. Right out. So make sure to tune in. So there's a bunch of these Murphy Lab ones in here. Oh, yeah, there's a bunch of See, what I don't get is like how you can have a guitar like this with it's like not really matching. Oh, the top? Yeah, I mean, from different angles, you see it. Like, if you look at it from it below, it doesn't match at all. Cool. The bottom kind of. Yeah, look at it from below. Kind of goes together. Now I'll turn it. See? Now there you go. But when you look at that it, that looks from good. Up above, but up here, it looks I mean, like that, it that's match, totally. Yeah. It's actually bookmatched, but you have to look at it like from this angle. For three thousand dollars. Thirty-two hundred. What do you think of that price. color? That's kind of not weird. A, not a fan of that color. I don't know what they call it, but it looks like something weird. That's kind of that's interesting. What do they call it? They call it umbra. Umbra burst. Oh, they got umbra the matching burst. telly too. Umbra burst or umbra? Umber. I don't know. It's called umbra. I'm not a fan. I don't know what it is. It's interesting. This one's sick. This one is not. Nice. That one's sick? sick? It's missing two knobs. Yeah, it's like some kind of like, you know, supposed to be on. For 7000 59 Murphy Lab, Les Paul. For almost $8,000. Sunrise T-Bird. It's got the crackle and all. They made this like really look aged. Yeah, it looks and nice. That's why they took the knobs off. So you think so? Older. No, I think someone stole those. <laughs> yeah, someone probably took them. <laughs> That's what happens. Them off, yeah. Right, Jeff Davidson? You probably have cameras. There's a camera right there. Ryan so Hall, whoever, Tim check Thomas. It out, check it out. Whoever stole those knobs. Yeah, there's a camera someone right there stole watching. Your knobs, man. Watching right there. Someone stole your knobs. Holy smoke, Janice. Uh, she can't. Holy smoke. Somebody took those. Well, that's what this they do. Be, these things are cool. They actually take. I this think is, they this actually. Is actually, for like, I think these are like a couple hundred bucks or something. How much? Three twenty-nine. Wow. And actually, anyway, people either steal these too, or they take them off pedal, because they're all the removed toggle. except for some of them. Yeah. The toggle switches are always gone. Yeah. People I, th I think people. Toggle. People actually. I think people just take them. Wow. And it's like filmed and everything. They don't care. Well, no, I mean, maybe they just take them off because look, these are locked up and they're, they're still nice. gone. Yeah, those things are locked behind that glass there, but check this thing out. Those are locked up. 500 bucks, but three pickups, because why not have three if you could fit another one in there, right? And then you could have one down there too. You can add another one right here if you wanted to underneath the bridge. Thank you for following me back. Somebody on Twitter, I just got a notification. Look at those knobs, though. Guitar Center might hold them, Richard says. Yeah, they might. They might, but this is kind of, we're in kind of a sketchy area. <laughs> For the Bay Area, which means it's not really that bad. Wow. Yeah, it's not so bad. Although I wouldn't walk down the street alone around here. I don't know. What do you guys think? Maybe you should smash that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. That would be, that'd be cool. What else? Tune in tomorrow exclusively Van Halen. Van Halen exclusively tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 Pacific. Right here. These things always surprise me for the money that you get. I mean, check this thing For the money. For the money. 500. 500 bucks. 500 bucks. Normally. Do they have a music bucks. musician, Music Man Stingray? Yeah, I think they do. We'll go look in a second. Yeah, they do actually. They have a Music Man Saber right behind you. Oh, yeah. Two. 
I got two. I got a Luke Cutlass. I got those. Look at that binding. Yeah. That's nice. That's cool. Look at how thick that maple cap is on that baby. Thick. Wow. <laughs> You're happy for the other winner. Hey, Richard, I stalled as long as I could, man. Yeah, no, he didn't stall, dude. I was there, I, man. I yeah, stalled I as there, long right? as I could. He stalled because, you know, yeah. I really did. I really did. You but should if know. You ever I, anything on my show, I stalled as I'll long move, as I could I'll for, for you to win. You message me no matter what. And if you don't message me for a week, then we'll do it all, do over. But Johnny likes to keep the giveaway going, and I, I understand that. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. I stalled as long as I could, man. I gave a... I really tried. Funko Pop, Angus Young Funko Pop for uh, Stephen Franklin. Oh, wow. I was going to send it this morning, but I couldn't get out of the, the place, so I got to send it tomorrow morning. Oh, my gosh. I'm sitting in my car. I just couldn't get to the post office by five <laughs> today. Well, that was the hope. That's right, Kim. Bye, bye, bye. Dilder, by any chance? Patty, are you here? Are you here, Patty? Patty. Patty calling Patty Dill. Thank you for, uh, I have it in my pocket. Oh, yeah. Check this out. There you go. Look at that. Kramer. It's Kramer time. Time. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Patty. Now I have to buy a Kramer just because of that. Yeah, they have there's, a there's there. A over here. They have a purple one that's like Johnny's. That's uh, actually, if I got a purple one and I have the green slime one, I could like it could be like the Joker, purple and green. Go get it. Yeah, pick it up. <laughs> right, I can't believe that blue one is that heavy. Yeah, right. What the, the, that, one? that blue one's too heavy, man. The purple. Purple one's not as heavy though. Yeah, there you go. Like super light. Yeah. Just like Johnny. Yeah, just like me. I'm only 125 pounds. And the black one that I got for you too. That that thing. There you go, man. Look at the look at the flame on the neck there. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that. There it is. There it is. Made you should get it. Easy, yeah. In the chat, do you guys think he should buy that right now? What do you think? <laughs> of course I should. Or should I buy it? <laughs> I'm looking at these things, man. The tra Traveler guitar, it'd be cool. Yeah, you need a Traveler guitar for you. Don't you have one of them, like, mini... Uh, What's going on down there, though? The Spirit, Steinberger Spirit. Yeah, uh, but what, what's going on? What is that? Is that supposed to be like that? Yeah. It is? Yeah. You've seen that? Yeah. That stuff? Yeah, you set it on your lap. Oh, you mean the stuff on the edge? This? Yeah, that looks what like, is that? That looks, looks like somebody stuck something Something's on growing there. on there. Something stuck. Something happened. I didn't notice that it was behind the other guitar. Something's traveling onto that guitar, yeah, I this think. This thing is pretty amazing, I have to say. I mean, remember when I told you I picked up that Eruption 78 guitar in the other guitar center and the mm -hmm. fret spread on that thing was like razor blades like this It was the worst. I, I was shocked For a $3,000 well, not three, twenty-one, twenty-two hundred dollars guitar that other one. This one's 200 for you guys I'd go EVH or Charvel Ryan is saying Are there any Strandbergs on display Ron says well Charvel I think in that case I think there's a Strandberg in that case over I think, I, is that a Strandberg? Strandberg. It's in the case, the Strandberg. And smash that thumbs up. That looks pretty cool. Smash that thumbs up. How many people are in here, 32? Let's see if we can get 32 thumbs ups. You can do it. That's, that'd be, that'd be awesome. There we go. Yeah, I like V's. Yeah. I don't have one, but I like them. That's pretty cool. That that one's cool. Yeah, L. John, man, that guy's killing it, leading. Oh, the Epiphone Company, man. Look at, look at the quality. I I uh, corresponded with L. John this morning. Yeah. Oh, look, they have 
Oh yeah, they always have a lot of the like fender stuff over here. This is the the repair area. Mm -hmm. Sparkle. How many minutes are we after the hour? Let me know. It's 8.15. 15. We, sh gotta we, we gotta split. Oh, it's already almost over, huh? Yeah, we gotta wow. go. Time flies we'll walk outside. Alright, let's do that. We'll, we'll walk outside. Huh? I almost was gonna buy a pedal. Here, let me show you. Oh, well, buy it. We, we gotta go, though. Were you gonna get that? Did you already buy that other thing? This, uh, this one's like a... Oh, kind of. Well, no, this is a fuzz one. So what is it? The, the animal pedal? Yeah, animal pedal. What does it do? It's a fuzz. It's a, it's a two, fuzz? Two -tied, person, two -tied fuzz. Well, if you're going to get it, you should get it. I'm not going to get it. You should get it. Not. Did you already get that other thing? No. Were you going to get it? Oh, yeah, I was going to get that. Let me get that. Grab that. And then we got to go. Grab that as fast as you can. I'm I'm gonna go outside. Oh, yeah, show them real quick. I'm I'm trying to talk over this music. Okay, yeah. Yeah, grab that. I'll be outside. Well you're buying it, right? Once you buy it, you can bring it outside. <laughs> oh man. I used to sell guitars to these guys. I sold a guitar to him. That guy, I remember, and then this guy, we sold a bass to this guy, and he actually played it at uh, Woodstock 94. And it is now in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in Cleveland. The bass that, that we, uh, we sold him years ago. Oh, excuse me. What's up, dudes? Let's see, Richard, robot shutting down a guitar center. Like it's a, <laughs> I just, I had to get away from that music. You know, we can't have the music in here. But you guys, you guys smash that thumbs up. Guitar Center, Concord, California. Laz and I were hanging out just for a little bit. We have to get back down to Danville, California which is about uh, 20 minutes away. Uh, let's see. Sherman Callahan, $2 super thanks. Sherman, thank you so much, man. Sherman Callahan. Where did you leave that super thanks? That, that must be in a previous video. Sherman, if you see this, thank you so much. Uh... Is that a good deal for that am animal pedal? Am animal? Should tell Laz if it's a good deal or not. He's buying it. You guys, Laz has a serious pedal problem. Okay, I've been to his house. His entire floor is covered in pedals. He has a major pedal problem. Although it's good for me because when I go over there, I can use them. <laughs> I don't have, the cool thing is I don't have to buy anything ever again because Laz buys it. And I just go over to, to his house and I use it. It's amazing. It's amazing. What's up, dudes? Smash that thumbs up, you guys. You guys are awesome. <laughs> oh man, what else? What else is going on? Let's see, Ryan says that 169 is average price for that pedal. Oh, okay. It says it's, you didn't buy the pedal though. I decided to guess the fuzz, I've got- They're saying 169 is the pedal price. Typically, they go for quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, man. Over here, it's 98. Oh. That's why I was thinking about buying it, because it's on sale. Crap, we got to go. Okay, what is that? Real quick, what is that? This is a guitar holder that you, like, clamp onto the edge of your desk, and your guitar sits in there, and you can, like, lean your guitar against the table or whatever, and it won't fall down. Mm -hmm. You can take this with you in your gig bag. You don't have to have a big-ass frickin', like, stand, right? Mm -hmm. As long as you got a table somewhere clamp this onto your table, you tighten it onto it, and then that will hold your guitar without it falling over. Oh, right on. Cool, right? 20 That's bucks. Great. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 
they hey guys. Have other versions of this I've seen, but this one is the one that you can actually clamp down onto your table so it definitely won't move. Uh -huh. Whereas the other ones could oh. move. And the cool part too is this thing flips up and down. So I don't know if you can see. See right here. So you can flip this thing down. So I'm you can leave, leave it against the edge of yeah, you can leave this against the edge of your table. And then when you need your guitar to go into it, you just flip it up. Right? But this part like is the part that tightens it down. See it's got Whoa. see that clamp thing right there? You can clamp it down, tighten it down onto the edge of the table. So that's the idea. Of clamp that seatbelt on. Clamp it. Clamp it, Blas. <laughs> <laughs> clamp it clamp it man the clamp it wasn't that the name of those uh, hillbillies that lived in Beverly Hills yeah the clamp it we were just in Beverly Hills man <laughs> yeah a couple weeks it ago it was crazy right? it was freaking crazy it was crazy was it that long ago or was it just like a week ago it was it like 10 like days ago. ago I know it seems like forever it fe felt like it was like 6 we months were in ago like a blizzard of well, yeah, not blizzard because it was rain, but yeah, it was yeah. that monsoon like kind of thing going on. Yes, it was. Mm. What time is it? Oh crap! You're gonna be late. I'm huh? gonna have to drive. Uh, I'm gonna have to drive 100 miles an hour to get there. Actually, they're they're. It's my fault. I have to buy this clamp cool. thing. It'll be cool. <laughs> it'll be cool. You just give them a little extra time to dance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, nice drive. Eh? Hey, Janice. What's up, Janice? I saw you in uh, Lappensies when I glanced over there too in Ben's show tonight. Yeah. You still have a green one, man. I still wish I did. Somebody just left a comment. A green what? I think he's saying Music Man. I, I posted oh. I posted a video today of, of uh, remember that Music Man we saw at the mm -hmm. Rainbow Bar and Grill in Hollywood? Yeah, yeah. I, I commented on that. Yeah. Didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, that was cool, man. I wish I took some more pictures of stuff while I was in there. I just took a picture of, like, there was some Randy Rhodes posters that were up along the stairwell. What are the they stairwell. doing? That guy's driving like he's on something. I don't know. I think he realized that that's a turn lane only, and he didn't want to turn. I'm turning. Yeah. Good idea. Um, but, yeah, man, there were, there, like, the rainbow is, like, so, what? Historical, right? I mean, there's so many things that went down at that place. You oh, hear yeah. So many people talking about, like, who introduced who there, how people got jobs there, like, you know, people met up with people. Like, wasn't there something about Eddie Van Halen being introduced to Brian May there or something like that? And they met up there? I don't know. Something, it might have been something else. Um, I'm confusing it with other You mean stuff. something Steve Rosen said? Maybe. Or. I might have heard it in other. I've, I've recently I've been watching so many documentary and interview kind of old interview stuff. Uh -huh. um, but it might have been either either Rosen or what's that other guy who also did a book? Yeah, the recordings. Who's the guy who's your cousin's cousin? Who's cousin? Oh that my guy. my cousin, <laughs> Jazz Obrecht. Jazz Obrecht. Yeah, there's that hour and a half long audio taping of his conversation with yep. Eddie Van Halen. From wow. 79. Yes, yeah. he, he has 78, 79. That was the first, was that the 80, first ever 82. Of Van Halen by somebody? Um, I believe Jazz did the first national major interview with Edward. Yeah. And that was... Dude, I didn't tell you who I met this morning, man. Who? I was at Guitar Center, uh, Conquer. Oh, you told me about it, Conquer, didn't tell uh, me about, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stevens Creek. I was in there, you know, to play that uh, that Night Swan Dreamer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we, we because uh, people want to know, hey, what is the, uh, what is the Jeff David to say? It's punch, punch it, baby. Punch it. It's pun Are there any cops? I don't see any. Let's punch it, man. Either. I'm going 120. Look at this. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going 40. Kilometers per hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll, we'll be fine. Uh, anyway, uh, I. And the video is up on the channel. Go back one video, and you'll you'll see the video of me with the the night swan. Anyway, I grab the guitar and I walk in there, and there's a guy in there looking at the guitars, and I'm like, hey, you know, you know, it's okay, it's okay if I plug into an amp, and he's like, cool. 
and then I forget we start talking and I forget how it came up but uh, somehow you know with me Van Halen gets mentioned and he's like oh I went to I went to high school with Edward and David it might have been something you were playing on the guitar Johnny I, I hadn't even plugged I hadn't even plugged in oh, yet oh wow okay wow I hadn't even plugged in yet like who's Van Halen like by yeah. osmosis people know yeah so anyway <laughs> the, guy, the guy tells me that he went to high school with Edward Van Halen and David Lee Roth what was the guy's name um Gary you're your good friend. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Anyway, I added him on uh, on Facebook, so we're Facebook friends now. Oh, yeah. But anyway, he was telling me some, he used to go see their, them play, like the, the backyard parties. He used to go to those. Oh, that's why. And the guy, yeah. the guy's legit. The stuff he was telling me was was totally oh, legit, dude. man. Does he have pictures? I don't know. That's the question I'd ask. I don't know. Said, but we, we ended up talking like, music and music theory for like an hour. Wow. That's why. I told you oh, I'm just getting out of here, and I had yeah, to get up here. Yeah, you know? yeah. But uh, Johnny was supposed to stop by my place this morning on his way out here, but he got you know into this deep conversation with this dude. That's cool, man. Yeah, yeah, it was great. Yeah, I got the guy on Facebook, and uh, he said he wanted to check out my show and everything. So I'm sure uh, I'm sure we can, we can get him on to tell some early Van Halen stories because he was there. Oh, and hey, cool. Sherman Callahan, dude, what video did you leave that super thanks on, man? Thank you so much. Sherman rocks, dude. Thank you so much, man. Sherman's an awesome dude. Sherman Callahan. Look at this. We're headed towards Dublin. Dublin Center. <laughs> <laughs> We're in Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> we went so we fast. Tell you we... guys. Oh my gosh. Johnny's car is a time machine. That clock is actually like two or three minutes ahead. We can go ahead so, in time, behind in time. So then... we'll. We'll get there a few minutes late, but it's not like they're gonna lock the yeah, doors. Yeah. There's, there's no way. So we'll, we'll, we'll pass we'll, this guy at least. This well, like some I got this freaking, so. I got this truck coming up. Oh, uh, yeah, they blocked you. GTA any, anymore because of the hacks, but I can I can drive. I'm very sad about that. I was actually thinking about jumping in there this week. Yeah, robot, are you in here, man? Dude, we're boycotting GTA now yeah. because of what's going on. I mean, if you're, they're able to like steal your accounts or wreck your accounts, that's bull. Then, that's totally like, bull crap. Completely crap. wreck, you even mess up your computer. Yeah, there, yeah, right? it's not worth it. Yeah. Well, I, yeah. I mean, what's the fun in the game? It's already bad enough when you go in there and there's like these bands of roving lunatics that come out and mess up your, like, whatever you're trying to do. Yeah. Just for fun. They just go in there and just wreck other people's, like, yeah. games. It's like, what's the point of that? Yeah. It's hey, Dane. 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 What's up, Dane? Dane. I'll send you the link for tomorrow, Dane. man, when I create the session, man, for the Van Halen show. Dane. Awesome, awesome video, bro, on the Badlands Guitar Company, man. Yeah, from right the on. The Tone King. I was messaging with Tone King about this thing too. Tony King? Not Tony the Tiger King, but Lewis Tone King. Anyway, uh, yeah, he's a super cool guy. I've, I've been in his channel as long as I've been to Johnny's and stuff. I've met him. Probably longer. I've hung out with him and yeah, McKnight like, at the Nam show such a years cool ago. Guy to hang out with. We were actually hanging out with Alex Radford and Garguts yeah. at the same time. Yeah. If, you guys, if they uh, are in here, they remember that. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, Tony the Tone King was like, um, Lewis. <laughs> That's what people called him. People yeah. thought his name was Tony King. Well, yeah. yeah. I remember that. Right, That's Janice? Funny. Alice Martinez, hey! But, uh, yeah, they, they really uh, did really well with this first uh, outing of their guitar, their uh, GX1, which is probably like, Guitar Extreme. <laughs> Numero uno. I don't know, whatever the GX means, it's probably guitar and X for, you know, kicks X, or maybe Generation X was the 80s generation, so I know. X. Back, well, actually, that. back then, there was a there, they always, there was also an 80s, like, metal-looking guitar called, like, GTX. Okay, maybe I remember. That but, so it's, but it's, for sure, it's got a lot of that, you know, really cool 80s kind of flavor to it, a real nice, you know, high-quality paint job. You know, everything that you're paying for on that obviously is, uh, uh, you know, is worth the money for sure. But uh, they sold out their 50 
maximum limited number was what they were going for. It was like 50 is where we are maxing this out. And they sold it out in a week. Wow. I mean, can you imagine that? That's a pretty amazing, like, first time out uh -huh. with a guitar company, right? Uh, and I hey, think, yeah. do you see the chat? William says... Paul Lou uh, has got some kind of barf, barfy faces, it looks like. i got to put on my glasses to see really what I'm Who's doing. barfing? I think it's Paul. Are you okay? I can't sit in the passenger I mean, seat okay. either. It's I get not, sick. Oh, it's bouncing so much, Johnny. Oh, maybe yeah, that's, that's why. She said. Um, it says, I'm getting car sick. Oh, it has nothing to do with the guitar. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. G. Bushnoff says, uh, more work ponies or what kind of ponies? But they're worth the money. Yeah, you know, high quality made in the USA, if you want to call it anything nowadays, made in the USA. Um, definitely most of the components, from what I understand, like, 70% I think roughly the components are made in the USA and the other ones are otherwise sourced from like Canada and stuff like that. I think the, I think the neck is a Canadian maple neck. So, you know, obviously you're going to try to get the best kind of parts that you can get for the money, right? Mm -hmm. um, but, you're, but their whole idea was to try to get a made in the assembled, made whatever. It's probably not just an assembled in the U.S. It's like, you know, made in the U.S.A. as much as possible, as much as they could. That was part of their, their dream is to make this happen. For a middle-of-the-market price on a bulldog, but, um, but bottom line, uh, I couldn't even get one. Because <laughs> I, I, I spent too much money recently. I bought that 5150 Slime Green guitar earlier. I bought all the parts to build the Jeff Beck tribute custom shop style lefty headstock guitar like you see him play sometimes on, on in concerts one of his favorite guitars that he likes to play um, that thing is actually a one-of-a-kind guitar by the way there is no more than that one that he had um, with that left-handed headstock it's another reason why I decided to tribute build that that way and uh, make it cool right so but yeah, I spent too much money lately, and I still have to send final payments to Henning for the uh, Valiant guitar, which is probably the most expensive guitar that I'll own in the studio. Outside of maybe the Satriani, even though the Satriani one I have is pretty, pretty valuable. I think that that will probably actually outvalue the Henning one in time. But bottom line is, yeah, that Valiant one's going to be killer when that comes. It's going to be a few months yet, but I think it's going to be amazing. But man, what a day, right? Yeah. What a day today. We had a, Laz bought me ice cream. He bought, he bought me coffee. And I bought you coffee. <laughs> yeah. Don't miss the exit. Wherever. I'm not. It's coming up. It's coming up here. It's coming up. it's coming up. And I think we're right on time because that clock is a few minutes late. Oh, okay. So, you guys, we're going to split here. Hot gears. What's up, dude? Thank yeah, you. I did not buy that fuss pedal. I thought twice about it. I probably could have made money on that if I bought it because it was being blown out, you know, for 98 bucks. And those things normally go for at least 150 or something, right? Yeah, but, but see, anybody that wants one anyway, they're going to get at the clearance. Well, you know, this one, maybe, yeah. Because these are like used pedals, so it's not like... These aren't that easy to find though, right, Octopus Sears, are they? Are they easy to find? Uh, I mean, if, if they're a guitar center, I don't think they'd be. Well, they everywhere. have the problem is they got to move the stuff. The thing about that's great about buying used at Guitar Center is that they get a lot of stuff coming in. They got to get it out, so they can't have stuff piling up. So they got to, you know, when they got to get rid of it, they get rid of it, right? So they, you can get some deals. Like I got that Satriani guitar for a crazy amount of money. Crazy cheap. Crazy. For a killer guitar. All right, you guys, we're out of here. Rock on, everybody, man. Thanks for watching. Catch tomorrow's show, right, John? Tune in tomorrow. Dane, if you're still here, I'll send you the link for tomorrow. We'll be talking yeah. exclusively Van Halen. I'll be driving home. He'll be probably, driving. So I won't be able to do it. Right on. Johnny often invites me into these shows, but I can't do them as easily. On the weekend, it's a little bit easier, but this weekend was so busy, too. Family. Family stuff. So rock on, man. Rock Catch on. you in the chats. We'll see you guys next time. Woo! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Keep it there. Keep it there. <laughs>
All right, I gotta run. Sorry. Bye-bye. <laughs>